Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to use the cookie cutter effect to highlight a face in a crowd. Before I show you the effect, let me show you what I mean. Just watch over here and you'll see it. You see the crowd, and then we go to dark and we highlight just that one face. And then we're going to come out of that in a minute and go back to the light color. I'm going to show you how we do that. First thing you want to do is you want to get the video track that has the faces that you want to highlight and bring that up on your timeline. And put that on the top or one of the top video tracks. And then you want to take that same track and put it right underneath it. And you want to line these two tracks up so they're identical. Then once you have that, you want to mute the second video track. And the way you do that is you click that mute button right there. And then on, the, on your top video track, select the event effects button. And on the event effects, what you want to select is the cookie cutter effect and then click OK. And on the cookie cutter effect, just select the circle. And when you select the circle, you'll see that it's highlighted. Now you may not see anything happen on the screen when you select it, and that's because of the size. But if we reduce the size of the circle, you notice it's zooming down. We want to get it down, and once we have the size that we want, we use this to move it over to the face we want to highlight. And if that's the face we want to highlight, we leave it there a moment and select feather. And the feather uh, takes the harsh edges off. And when you have it on circle, be sure you have it also set to cut away all but section. And what that means is it's going to cut away everything except for what you have highlighted. And then you can adjust the size again to get the way you want and then adjust the position the way you want. So if that's the person you want to highlight, that's what you need to do. And then click X to close that down. And you should always get in the habit of closing these event windows by clicking the X rather than dragging it down here to dock it. So we're going to close that. Now we're going to go in and unmute the track that we were working on. And now you can see that it's no longer highlighted because the track that we've duplicated is right below it and it shows through. So what we want to do here is use a composite envelope. So we right click, we select insert, remove envelope, and we want to make sure that the composite envelope is turned on. And then here at the top line, that's where the composite envelope is. It'll show up as a purple line. Double click it and pull that down. And you see it moves the composite level down, which means the back of the track gets darker and it means the person up front gets highlighted. So if we play that now you'll see that we start with a black screen there's full and then highlight just that person and I can pull that composite level up a little bit so that it looks just like that. And at the end of our clip what we can do is we can put two spots on our composite level and bring the composite level back up so that when we play it now the young girl is highlighted and then we come back out of the highlight by going back to the full screen. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, the trick again is to use the cookie cutter on the top track and I'm going to mute this bottom track so you can see what we did. In the cookie cutter we select the cookie cutter event. We select a circle but you can select any shape you want. You cut away all but section. You size the cookie cutter so that it fits just the area you want. You move the position to position just the area you want. You set the feathering the way you want and then you close it down. Now if that person is moving on the track, you can use the timeline here to put keyframes to move along with that person as they move. And then we unmute the track and apply the composite level so that the main track goes black while the person in the background stands out. This can be used for sports highlight films and other things like that as well as family reunions or documentaries where you want to highlight someone who's in a group shot. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com. And also find a lot more like this in my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Movie Studio, the DVD that's available on my website as well as on Amazon.com.